Good day everybody, this is Nel Parroco again and today is about road lighting again. But this time we are talking about the critical locations of the poles or the luminaires on the road. So we will be using this ebook uh, BS5489-1 of 2003 for us to get the, loca the proper locations of the luminaires on the road. Like, for example, this T-junction road here. Okay, so let's zoom this one. So here at T-junction, you can see those dots. Those are the locations of the fittings or the poles. And this one is the most critical one, the number one, because it should not create glare on the driver's view when they, when they reach this junction area. So this uh, luminaire should be tilted properly so it will not create glare, okay? And the other one is this. Again, you can see this one is um, on the center because this time it's a curve one and it's so critical that it must cover all those um, areas that are in a curve area, similar to the other side. And of course, every junction has these critical points. And when you, you, when you do lay out your uh, road lighting uh, posi pole, uh, pole positions, you should consider this kind of positioning. Uh, you don't need to consider the spacing for now. Say, for example, this, the spacing of your poles based on your calculation is uh, 30 meters or 25 meters. Disregard that one first and follow this critical positions and then you may now start using this point to spread the 25 meter spacing towards in this area or 35 meter spacing. So place these critical points first and then spread those poles based on uh, the lighting calculation spacing. All right. So another one is um, what else do we have here? So they, these are again for the major and minor roads. So you can see there's another one here. And also on the critical points, all the sides has these luminaires, especially if it's a junction. And if there's a Y intersection like this one, or yes, you need to have uh, luminaires on these sides and not on the corner part of the Y junction. It's a no-no to put those luminaires here at the corner. You can see all those samples here doesn't have luminaires on the corners. Okay. Okay, so these are the things. And you can check this one. Uh, if you uh, enroll in my Udemy course, you can have the copy of this uh, ebook. I'm sharing this one to you for educational purposes. So go and enroll so you can grab this or download this ebook. And here, this one, I want to discuss this uh, roundabout because these are the most uh, questions of my students in road lighting, how to create this road roundabout uh, lighting design. So I'm going to do a sample calculation here right now because I have this project and I have two roundabouts. One is an oval shape and the other is a round one. And based on our standards from our previous discussion, Roundabouts, this is from SLL. Now we're shifting back again to the SLL lighting handbook of SIBSE. And it says here that uh, for this roundabout, uh, the lighting recommendations for conflict areas, roundabout should have at least, see, um, 7.5 to 50 lux, depending on uh, lighting classifications. So let's just go achieve the highest one, which is the 50 lux and a 0.4 uh, overall uniformity. So how to do that? Go to the plan view and then go to the calculation object. I am done working on the street lighting. And you can see here, this is the street lighting. And I already made the spacing and like the luminaire. Now I am concerned with this roundabout area because those street lighting calculation is for the street and long road areas but for the roundabout it's a different calculation and this is what we're going to do now so go to the calculation objects select this um okay so that's how you do your roundabout lighting design and yeah you can follow this one if there's an island here you can add 
And if it is only a T-junction roundabout, then you need to add one here and then on the corner of uh, uh, the road of the T-junction of this curve okay so that's it and if you want to know more about this go and visit udemy.com www.udemy.com and enroll in my lighting design course about road lighting design techniques and also please check my ebook uh, road lighting design techniques at amazon.com okay so yep hope you learned something today so see you again in the next video.